Fox Carolina investigates. A toy that just hit the market is drawing lots of attention for something the creators likely never intended. Now, the toy here is called Bunchums, and it's getting stuck in kids' hair, and it's causing an uproar online. And there are a lot of negative comments on social media about Bunchums, but the toy industry says... It's a great product. Yeah, but you can see how they're kind of yeah. sticky. They do kind of stick together and could cling in hair. And Fox Carolina's Rebecca Atkins talked to an upstate toy shop and to a children's hair salon about the pros and cons of this. Rebecca, definitely a fun toy, but what are people saying about this? Yeah, there's a lot of mixed emotions about this toy, and with the holidays quickly approaching, that toy store I spoke with says they've nearly sold out of this product, but an upstate hair salon says they were left cleaning up a knotted mess when a little girl came in with seven of them stuck in her hair. You can squish them, connect them, even create them. But according to the warning on the box for Bunchums, you should keep these little spiky toys away from hair because they can become entangled. And some parents and children are learning that the hard way. She came in and she had a whole bunch just on her scalp and we didn't know what to do so we just took her back to the sink. Holland Clower is a receptionist at the Snippets Hair Salon on Woodruff Road. She says she worked for nearly 45 minutes to untangle the toys from a little girl's hair. A bunch of conditioner in her hair. We just got a comb and just tried to pick them out. Clower says they had to cut two of the bunchums out because they wouldn't budge. If bunchums get caught in your hair... Bunchums has even created this video showing people how they can get the toys out of hair with either vegetable oil or conditioner. We also tried out the toys ourselves, and after successfully getting them all out of one of our Fox Carolina producers' hair, she was left with a tender head and broken strands of hair. But one upstate toy store stands by the product. It's been extremely popular. Um, we've almost sold through the first shipment, and our next shipment is on the way. Kelly Sobe, a manager at the Elephant's Trunk, says she's heard about the bad reviews, but says none of her customers have had complaints. It's entirely creative, entirely intuitive. Sobe says they help a lot of children with special needs and says this toy is great for them because of how tactile it is. I think it's great. I really do because there's never been another toy like it. Now, Sobe also says Bunchins has been nominated for Toy of the Year by in its category by the Toy Industry Foundation. Diana? Yeah, I mean, definitely fun, and I'm sure for kids to sit there and create, it's a great idea. And it's obviously the company who makes them. They're aware of the problem that families have experienced, but what's the story behind the creation here? Yeah, the manager of the Elvin's Trunk told me the creator, who's also a de designer for Spin Master, he was inspired by the burrs that were stuck on his socks after a hike in Canada, and he thought it would be a great idea for a toy, uh, kind of with that same... Uh, idea behind it. Reporting live in the newsroom, Rebecca Atkins, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.